Well, hello once again, my family and friends. This is part two of the discernment that is needed to discern the demonic possessions that has left many bound mentally and physically. I am Pastor Diane Burleson of Great El Bethel Missionary Baptist Church. And I'm coming to you all once again, Pastor Diane Burleson, telling it like it is. As I said again, this is part two of discernment. The discernment of the presence of domantic possession has left many people bound mentally and physically. And failure to recognize the presence of the demonic has done this a many of times. As I left off in part one, going on to part two, I was speaking on the discernment is needed to determine whether the nature of a person's sickness is demonic or whether deliverance needs to be exercised. This is not to say that people are to go to extreme and imagine that demons are lurking behind every tree. There is no deliverance ministry separate from the ministry of healing. The one is part of the other. You see, Jesus holds both in the correct balance. When a person is possessed, a demon lives within and can control that person, at least in part. The demon may cause the inability to speak, epilepsy, or some other physical disease. Or it may take over the person's personality in some way, forcing him to do things he does not want to do. Certain types of mental sickness are caused by possession by domantic forces. And the reason why some mental problems do not respond to medical treatment is therefore obvious. There is no medical cure for demon possession. Many psychiatrists do not even believe in the existence of demons. In the healing ministry, you will inevitably have to exercise authority over demons on occasions. A failure to do so will leave the person in bondage. One of the gifts of the Holy Spirit is the ability to distinguish between spirits. God wants us to listen very carefully to him and to perceive whether something is the result of physical or emotional stress or whether there is a domantic activity that needs to be dealt with. As believers, we do not need to fear demons. We are given power and authority over them by the Lord. A possessed person is incapable of breaking free from that possess what possesses her. She needs somebody else to deliver her by ex exercising authority in the name of Jesus. Jesus told the disciples that whatever they bound on earth was bound in heaven, uh, and whatever they loosed on earth was loosed in heaven. Uh, when so bound, Satan is unable to hinder the deliverance and subsequent healing. Well, uh, when I pray for people with illnesses, I habitually bind the enemy, whether there is any demonic possession involved or not. Then the devil is uh, rendered powerless to resist the healing work of God in the people's lives. The idea of being able to plunder Satan goods puts us in the right faith position, <laughs> knowing we have power and authority over all his works.